Hi, it's Older Backpacker and this is El Ramate. It's day 130 of the backpacking adventure around the world and this is Lake Petin Itza. So we arrived here yesterday and the lake itself is about 32 kilometers long and we left from over that direction from the island of Flores and it took about 40 minutes to get here by Collectivo which is a minibus where they stop and take anybody that's traveling and it only costs 25 quetzal which equates to about £2.50 Flores itself as you saw in the previous video is a touristy spot but this is just paradise there is a few hostels and all these beach houses that you see in the in the distance and basically they're just somewhere to sit and just chill go swimming and the water here is just so nice and not cold not hot not warm just in between and just there in the distance is the village of which i'm going to be walking down later so this little pontoon that we've got here belongs to the hostel itself and the hostel's beautiful so i'm going to have to show you this is the hostel it's costing me and the travel buddy 80 cues each. So we were last night in that place up there, which was a dormitory. So then they decided that they needed to deep clean the room and move us out further up. And that is our place that we're staying. And already it looks like an internet cafe. Hi. Hello. And inside. And through here. And this is El Amata. This is the top end and there's the bottom end. So it's only a small village but it's populated by a load of hotels only because the lake is just over there. Plenty of little cafes, just got a laid back vibe about this place. And then this is the other side of the village which is directly on the lake. Horses have just been for a little bath. Beautiful. It's a new day and it's early and it's about 10 past seven. And we're going up to Tikal today, which is one of the biggest main ruins in Guatemala. One of the reasons that this place is so busy with tourists because they're all going to, to see the main ruins. I'm tired. The cheapest way to get there, which we found, is to go where we were dropped off when we first arrived in a remate and a colectivo with Tikal that will be on the front. will pick us up and take us there. So here we are at Tikal, the largest Mayan archaeologist site in Guatemala. The Colectivo that picked us up was a little bit late, but that's Guatemalan time. And it cost 50 quetzals to get here. And to get into the park itself, it costs 150 quetzals. So altogether 200, which makes about 20 pounds. And the reason we have come so early is to beat the crowds. Hardly any tourists around, which means we can get some decent photographs and videos. Little map of the area, and luckily enough, it's got timings of how long each walk does. It's going to be a long day. Now, the two bits of advice I can give you for coming to Tikal. Number one, bring mosquito spray. There is mosquitoes everywhere and obviously we've forgotten ours so we're getting little bites every now and again. And number two, you need to bring either trainers or walking boots because flip-flops are just not built for walking on this terrain.
So Tikal got made into a national park in 1955. So there is just wildlife nature around you everywhere. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to see some wildlife while we're here. We've been here for four and a half hours in Tikal so far and as you can see from this map if you look at the top we're only halfway around the site is ginormous and we've still got so much to see including the main plaza which is the piece de resistance and this is the main plaza. We have been around to Cal for most of the day, but we've saved the best to last and some of these structures are just astounding how they managed to build it all them years ago beautiful me and Shane have been to a few of plenty of main runes in the last few months but this is heads and above that better than any of them that we've seen before it's just stunning So that was Tikal and I must admit it was amazing. Some of the sights that we've seen, some of the views that we saw were breathtaking and cannot recommend this place enough. But we're about to go and we are going back to El Ramate and tomorrow we'll be leaving and we'll be leaving to go to the next place. So if you like this video, you know you need to press like. If you want to subscribe and find out where we're going to go next, you need to press subscribe. And more importantly, if there's anyone out there, and I've said this before, that wants to go backpacking, that wants to go traveling, Guatemala, Central America, sh share this video with them. Show them what they're missing. And until next time, bye-bye.